Hi guys, my name is Martin Szałek. I am founder of Freedom.io, a programming blog where I share my Flutter knowledge and where I show how to achieve beautiful designs um, using Flutter. This is my first video, so please leave a comment and tell, you, tell me how you like it. Um, so maybe in the future we'll do more of them. Um, in this video, I want to show you the process of implementing the design I found on Dribbble. And um, yeah, hopefully it will be um, valuable for you. Um, hopefully we will be able to learn something during this process. Um, the design I picked for this video is SY Expedition Travel Animation by Anton Skvortsov. I hope I pronounced it right. And yeah, I really, I really like this design. Um, we can look at it now and see what's going on. So um, what we can see is we have two pages here. Mm. Yeah, you saw this animation, yeah? You have two pages. One has Leopard on it, the second one has Vulture. And um, during the transition between the pages, we can see um, some nice animations, mostly on the bottom part. We can see elements fade away, fade in. Mm. This is something that will be interesting. Um, then we can see the um, swipe up gesture, which um, shows like a timeline, like a or a trip. I don't know what exactly it is, but j just a straight line that goes up. And then after clicking on map button, it converts to a map. I'm not sure if we will be able to do everything in this video. Um, we will see how it goes, because I didn't do um, any preparation. I mean, I did very small preparation to just um, check what's possible and what's not, but in general, I have no idea how to implement the whole design yet. Um, I hope we will work it out um, during this video. So, um, what I have prepared is I talked to Anton, and he has sent me the PSD file so I could extract the images because without proper images I wouldn't be able to um, to, to make this make this design. So um, out of this file, so we have this file so we can like see exactly what's going on. And um, out of this file I extracted five uh, I've extracted five assets. Yep. Mm. Could put it away. And I have also prepared a styles file which has three colors. And that's it. Oh, and I added the assets to the pub stick. And this is all the things that I changed from the default Hello World app that you can see right now. So we will start from the beginning, we will do it all together. Um, no, I didn't prepare anything special for this. Um, yeah, so what we can start with, because uh, I think this is like the first tricky part, is just to do the page view. And yeah, because if we look at the assets, we can see that the layout part, um, it is like very um, landscape, like horizontal um, image, and the vulture is only vulture. So the lower part image is, um, is being displayed in both pages, which um, complicates everything a lot. Um, also, um, this is the only thing that I looked earlier just to be sure that it's even possible to do it. Um, if you look at the, the um, stick, the tree part, you can see the um, like this triangle here. This is like the like specific point, and you can see it's visible on both um, pages, both the lower part and vulture page, which um, which means that we cannot actually um, display it on the page view. Um, because like, we, we just cannot do the transition properly. Um, we will use the page view still, but the image will need to be hacked. Okay, so we can start. Close others. We will delete everything from main because you don't want any anything in main except my app. And let's create my app. Okay, and my app widget will be material app. Um, 
team um, will be dark team right as dark we can set um, scaffold background color for um, main black from the styles uh, from the styles file yeah okay we can import it mm, yeah and we can create uh, what was not home no nothing team data home which will be um, main page so let's create main page file it will be I think it can be stateless for now main page all right and it will be scaffold with um, body text hello in my app in my app we will import it okay and let's see how it goes boom we have hello we can center it so you will know for sure that it's there yeah we have hello all right so um in the design yes we have this page view with two um two cards now what's happening here is like we will for sure because um you can see that some parts um are scrolling and some um, are not so in addition to page view we will also need to use stack so we have some elements um, on top and some just uh, scrolling with the, with the page view yeah um, so let's create the page view page view page you can have two children let's say it will be center text page one page two I like to do it like this so that I know that everything is working at every stage okay Okay, for sure we can also remove the um, the bouncing effect because um, yeah, we just doesn't fit the design. So I think it's something uh, physics. Yeah, uh, we can pass clamping scroll physics, and this way we don't have the effect. All right. Uh, okay, so let's add those images and see what they look like. Mm. Actually, what we can do is we can create um, page one. We can call it. We can call it lower part page, and this will be image dot asset, and the asset name is assets slash lower part png. Okay, and put it here. Um, lower part page. All right, and we have the lower part image. And as you can see, it the the tree part is like very big, and um, we want to show like only I would say three fifths of the image, something like this. And also we want it to be visible on the um, other part. Actually, you can also create the other part. Um, let's call it culture page. Oh. Ah, sorry. And and let's put it. Vulture page. All right. Um. So, what we can do? So the thing is that um. To make this transition between the two images, like very smooth, and to have the uh, this triangle part visible on both parts. Um, I believe that it's impossible to use page view for this, meaning it's impossible to have the image inside page view and to have this image look well on both pages. And so to avoid it, my idea is to use um, to stack and have this image on top of page view and then just move it alongside the page view offset. How it works? If we have page view. Uh, let's say in column and change column to stack. All right. Now we can put here um, 
low part image. All right. And now we can create page controller. And it needs to be final. And let's pass the controller here. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so just to prove that it works, for now we can have double offset. Oh, okay. So the thing is, um, we want to use page controller um, to like provide information about the offset of how the page view is um, translated, and. Mm. We could just have, um, so we also need to provide information to Flutter that we need to rebuild the widget. And the first idea is to just use the um, stateful widget. But the thing is that if we use the stateful widget, it will rebuild the whole tree, which um, may be um, not the best choice performance wise, since we don't want to rebuild everything. Um, so the idea is, I think, I think the best solution would be to use provider package because it makes those use cases very, um, very simple. Uh, I think basically to provide the offset with the um, change notifier from provider. And I think we'll do it. Instead of talking, let's just show it. In PubSpec, we will add provider dependency. I believe it is version 3.0 right now. We'll get packages. And in main page, let's create um, page offset notifier with change notifier. Now it will contain double offset. Um, it will contain getter. And we can also, so the thing is we want it to use the value from page controller. Like every time page controller changes, we want um, page offset notifier to update new information. So what we can do is we can actually get the controller in the constructor. Um, page controller, and we can say page controller add listener. And here we can say offset equals page control dot offset. Also, what we can do, maybe it will be uh, helpful later. We can also have page field that will get page, and we can say page equals page con page controller dot page, and and we need to call notify listeners to and I calls uh, the rebuild of, uh, of the widgets. So um, page controller offset is um, literally how many pixels is the um, page view like, moved. So um, on iPhone um, X, X, XS, I think it's 375 per page. So just to like, give you the example. And um, the page, page is a double. And um, in our case, it will have values from 0 to 1. So 0 is at the start. And now it slowly moves through half, through 2 thirds to, to 1. And here is 1. Um, yeah, so how we use it? We will just wrap our scaffold um, in change notifier provider. We need to pass a builder method. And the builder method, I believe, it has. Um, it, it accepts con context and returns change notifier. So we will not need context for now. And we will pass page offset notifier of, of page controller. Okay, now having that, um, let's create an image. Let's create a widget um, low part image. Um, this widget will be this. And and what now?
Huh. What do you want to do it? Okay, since we are using stack, we can wrap it in position it. Yeah, in position. We can set um for now let's just make it top 100. Um left zero width. Huh. What's the width? Maybe we don't need to pass the width. Okay, we will see how it works. Um, low part image here. Low part image. Okay, so now we can see that it's much bigger. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure how. I okay, so I think that right now um, it height is like full, full height of the screen. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's just pass height parameter. Um, let's say 300. No, so it wasn't full height. Oh, it was just the height of the image, the maximum height of the image. Um, okay, so let's leave it 300 for now. Uh, we will think of it later if it's the right um, value. So actually, no, we need we needed to show the the triangle part we saw on the design, right? This this part. So 300 is too much. Let's say 250. Yeah, 250 is good. And now we wanna to move it alongside the page view. Mm, what we can do is we can wrap the position with consumer coming from the provider package. Um, and consumer will use page offset notifier. Basically, it means it will look for page offset notifier. And in the builder method, it will provide context, it will provide notifier, and it will provide a um, child. And having that, here, uh, left, we can set minus notifier that offset. Yeah, so um, once, um, so we will use the um, page view. Page view um, through this listener will set the offset in the page and it will notify listeners. Now we provide this um, page offset notifier through change notifier provider down, down in the tree. I will now go um, into details of provider package. If you want, uh, there are plenty of resources of how it exactly works. Um, it is very simple, and I love Remy about um, doing it. Um, so we provide the um, notifier, and in the lower part image, we um, like look up for this notifier. And then here, uh, actually, if we look at the builder method, we can see it has build context, page offset notifier, and widget, and. Yeah, and technically, I think it should work. So once the page uh, offset increases, here we have minus offset, so the image should go left. And let's see. Hmm. Oh okay. uh, yeah, it doesn't go left. Not at all. Huh. Okay, let's say notifier that offset. Let's print it and see what's the value. Okay. Okay, what if we make you stateful? What we start? Alright. Uh so I believe it should be stateful. <laughs> uh okay. Whatever. Let's remove the prints. And we can see that the image is um, it's moving alongside the um, page view. So that's good. That's good. Mm, now, um, we have the height uh, set to 50. I believe it should be correlated with the width of the screen. So, uh, so huh. So like we want to make sure that this triangle part will be always visible. Actually, right now we can here we can return container instead of the image. Yeah. Um. So we want this to be always visible, right? 
uh, in this, this triangle part. So instead of um, and the height like um, the height specifies the size of the image. So so actually instead of height, if we put let's say width um, five hundred. Um, okay, let's make sure how big is this the size of the screen. Size width. If we print it, we can see it's three seventy five. Okay, so if we provide with three seventy five. I believe there will be yeah exactly one page. So we can say that we want the position, the width, to be uh, um, like one and a half of the screen size times one point five. We can remove this. Yeah, this way, um, like it will cover the full um, first page, and it will move halfway to the second page. Hence. Yeah, but we still didn't um, talk about the the triangle part. So the triangle part is now only on the first; it's not on the second. And I believe that to achieve it, we have to um, yeah. So what we need to do is we have to um, like not move exactly as the page view. What I mean here, instead of using just minus offset, we will make it move a bit slower than offset. So if the offset is 100, let's move the lower part only by 90. This way, it will go a bit slower and we still cannot see it. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. Uh, and let's make it maybe 8.5. All right, and okay, that, that's that's something, right? Mm. Now what we can do is we can put it on in the right place, uh, and I believe that we will um, actually I believe we can just center it and it will be just fine. Um, how do I center vertically using position? If I, oh, actually, I can just remove this, and, huh, because if I do top zero and bottom zero, it will like stretch it. I can specify in stack alignment alignment that center left. Okay, and what we also need to do is make our lower part image. Uh, Oh, what we didn't do, because we are using consumer to um, change this widget when offset changes, but we will rebuild the whole widget, in, uh, including the asset. And we don't need to do it because the image itself won't change. So what we can, what we can do, we can provide child, and child will be this image. And here we just say child. So we provide child in the consumer uh, constructor, and then in the builder method we use that child. Um, so we just um, redraw only these parts that are needed. So we have this image and now we only change its position. And what we also need to do, we need to wrap it in ignore pointer. That will cause, um, the, because right now we cannot use the page view because like the image covers it. You see, here I can do it, but here I cannot. So now if I wrapped the image in ignore pointer, I am able to do it. Awesome. Okay, so now, uh, is this part too big? I don't know. Let's check it with the design. Uh, let's zoom a bit. Okay, it is similar. And the question is about the stick. Is the stick too big? Okay, I believe it's good. Yeah, maybe it could be a little smaller. Let's check the long part, the lower part, sorry. Yeah, I believe it's okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, so now, let's put it here. And now first, okay, and the vulture. The vulture is definitely too big, right? So, I believe it should be 
like smaller. <laughs> um, okay, so the vulture should be. Uh, huh? How, how big should it be? Maybe like one third, one fourth of the whole screen height. Maybe. Okay, let's see. If we set height to be media query that of context that size that to height divided by four, what should load? It changed nothing. It changed nothing because um, vulture page is inside the page view and it will be stretched automatically. So if we wrap it in the center, it should work. And it is definitely too small. It is too small because the image, no, the image is not that much bigger. Actually, it's not. Okay, that's it divided by three, not by four. All right. Yeah, I believe it's fine. Yeah, for now, for sure, it's fine. Um, now we need to put the tree behind the vulture. And so what we can do is we can simply change the order in stack. So we can put Leopard image behind page view uh, and remove this. OK, it's not that bad. Uh, the vulture should be a bit, um, a bit higher. Now, actually, let's make sure that the vulture should be a bit higher, or maybe the um, maybe the lower part should be a bit lower. Uh, if I catch it, okay, I won't catch it. I'm just doing like this. Move down. Okay, I'm not good with the with him. <laughs> uh, all right. So, no, I believe the low part is in the right position. And the vulture is a big too big, but it's also in the right position. <laughs> then, uh, huh. Okay, maybe it should be a bit. Okay, it's not too big, it just should be a bit higher, right? Because the low part is fine. Yeah, the part is fine. So the rotor should be a bit higher, I believe. Okay. Uh, I mean, the vulture, yeah, should be a bit higher. And to do this, what we can do? Instead of, um, <laughs> okay, let's just do it simple way. We just add uh, padding only bottom and let's say 32 or even 64. Yeah, I believe it works just fine. Maybe even like 80. So we can see that, um, actually you can see the vulture like moving a bit off. But to be honest, I think it's nice. Yeah, let's say it's it's by design, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have the page view. Awesome. So we have this. Um, and now the thing is, because we put the um, leopard under the page view, but in the design, you can see that there are a lot of stuff. Oh, but actually, they won't. Okay, so they will kind of cover the lower part. Like if we put it in the page view. Um, yeah, so I believe what we can do. Yeah, so what we can do. Huh, will it work? Mm. Yeah, we will put the vulture also in the uh, position, so we can have the vulture and the vulture, vulture, I don't know, uh, vulture and the leopards above the uh, page view, 
and then we can put I um, huh. yeah and then we can put like items in the page and it will be under the, the images um, so we'll just copy the lower image make it vulture image here it will be vulture and what we found out already it's the height needs to be like this we already know okay now we need to uh, actually what will happen if okay let's do it like this and see what happens now um voucher page it will return container and we will move lower part page above the page view the lower part image and we will add the virtual image as well and it's disappeared because it's using this so now um we want it to be you want it to be like off the screen so media query of context size width minus this all right that is good almost good uh, no it's not good it's not good at all no <laughs> so we should have it move um, in the same pace as uh, as the lower part image and we just need it to be wait we just need it to be in the center no Okay, I believe this will work. And what was on the image? On the design? Oh, on the design, it actually sits on the top part of the branch. It sits here. Um, so now, uh, yeah, let's just make, so let's just move it a bit, right? And here we will add the padding as we did previously. Only bottom. Let's make it 100. So since we added, <laughs> since we added padding. Okay, let's move height parameter to the asset because now we added padding to the image. And and then uh, above it we set height to be like specific height of the of the vulture so it caused the vulture to be very very small and now it looks perfect let's just move it a bit to the right and a bit down awesome actually no let's make it like this yeah so the only problem is here we have this bottom 90 which um, is not really like good because then um, it won't scale well with other sizes although huh okay let's just leave it like this and um, later we will think about it okay so we have this yeah awesome isn't it a bit too small, the vulture? Let's check. No, nah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. So we have the page view now. Great. Um, what we can do next? Um, okay, we can do the easy part. So we can add the SY text and the um, hamburger menu. We'll just use hamburger mini icon because like the icon itself doesn't really um, matter. So what we can do 
is yeah, just make those. Uh, let's make it actually up bar. Why not? And up bar will be. We'll put in stack, so it will need to have the um, proper padding. Um, yeah, so let's try first. Okay, first let's do row with children with text sy, text um, style, text style, font weight, font weight bold. Then we add spacer to make space between text and the icon icons that many perfect. Um, let's put the up bar in the stack. Okay, we have it here on the center. Now what we can do is we can add padding to it. Let's say all sixteen. Um, I believe you can do it like this of context that um, actually not let just let just leave it like this so it can const um, let's position it you can make it positioned top zero it broke. Why did it break? Is it because of hate or or width? Okay, let's do hot restart. It still breaks. Uh, all right. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A bar. If we put hate eighty, no. So maybe it's width eighty. Okay. So width will be double that infinity. And it does not work. <laughs> okay, so let's do left um, zero, right zero. Okay, and we have it here. And now what we can do? We can actually wrap the whole stack. Yeah, we can wrap the whole. Oh, but do we want to do it? Uh, okay, right now we'll just do it, and later we we'll think it, it won't work. In safe area, so we will um, use the default um, paddings of notch of the this bottom handle, I know what's called. And yeah, it will go down. Now for sure it needs bigger um, horizontal padding. So we make it symmetric. Actually, let's make it vertical 8 and horizontal 24. And I believe that the text should be a bit bigger or not? No, not really. But it is small. Yeah, I'll make it a bit bigger. Let's make it 18. All right. And here, let's make it 16 again. Okay, works fine. Uh, and it stays there. Yeah, awesome. Now, what we can do is we can um, we can add the 72 number, whatever it means. Um, I hope it's 72. Yeah, I believe it's 72. So, first of all, it's rotated. Now, um, to rotate it, we will use our leopard page. And first, let's just add text 72, um, style, text style, font size 70. Bam. 140. Wow, it needs to be bigger. Okay, let's say font weight, font weight that bold. Uh, 200. 300. Okay, 300 is fine. And now we need to rotate it. And to rotate it, I believe there is a rotated box widget. And there's like quarter turns one. Awesome. And um, now we need to mm, add it in the container with alignment alignment dot center left and okay now it has some spacing from the left huh 
So it's because of the baseline. So we would like to like move the baseline like in here, not in here. I don't know if I can do it. I've never did it. Hmm. Text baseline. What is it? I've never used it. Okay, alphabet doesn't change anything. Ideographic also doesn't change anything. So we will just. Um, I think we just have to um, translate it. So what we will do is we will wrap it in transform, but translate, and we will just say offset offset minus sixty four zero. So we just move the text to the left. The problem is on the bigger on the smaller screen it may go out of the screen, but we will worry about it later. Yeah, uh, I think it doesn't really look. Yeah, it was much bigger. Yeah, four hundred. Bingo. See, and now it goes way much to the left. Uh, whoa! And right now we don't even need to translate it. Uh, okay. Actually, right now we need to translate it to the other side. Wow. That's weird. Whatever. Okay. Mm. So it starts when it's here. Well, it doesn't really match. Because it should be um, higher. Top left. Top left with margin edge insets only top okay let's see okay you know what let's see it on the design So uh, we can hide all the parts, use this, and see. Well, if I only knew how to, like, what, for example, those um, lines mean, it would be great, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So the size of the image is actually to the, like, top of the, the start of the head of the lower part. And it starts from the, from the turn of the tail, so it's too big. 350. 350, center left. Uh, and now we need to translate it back to the left. Okay, it's too big, 300. It's actually that's the size, I believe. We can make it 320. Okay. And now we can move it a bit down. Um, 64. Okay, so this part needs to go here. So top left, maybe center left. Okay, no, let's make it top left and let's do it manually. So top left, one, two, eight. Okay, I believe it works fine. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see the animation again. Huh. So you can see it moves much faster than the scroll itself. I hoped that because of we slowed the um, lower part animation, like the lower part offset, it will work this way, but it doesn't. It needs to go faster. However, we have the translate already. So that's good. That's good. 
actually can we make it one to eight here and remove this will it be the same yeah um all right and can we swap with child yes it's still the same awesome so what we can do is we can use our um our consumer mm, consumer of um, page offset notifier right with builder context notifier um context notifier child and now let's return transform that translate of offset offset minus 20 to 1 to 8 and here let's make it um, minus half of the notifier that offset which means basically it will go faster than the page itself and here we will remove it so we have the container um, with the rotated box the text and so on and we just um, based of the um, page offset we want to move it faster than the page itself and it disappeared why did it disappear it shouldn't make any difference it totally disappeared wow okay maybe because we didn't provide the child parameter yeah mm. minus times notifier times offset all right now it goes faster awesome ah it works mm, let's say the design if it works similar yeah that's it now uh, i'm not sure if it also fades away or not no, it doesn't. So yeah, that's the 72 number. Actually, actually you can make it a bit uh, slower. Yeah. Uh, although I believe... No, we need to make it half. So yeah, so the voucher and the text is not... Okay, it is on the same page, but like for very small amount of time all right great um, now we can focus on the bottom part okay i believe for sure we can put the um the travel description and this text on the bottom in the page view because it behaves similarly to um to the 72 number yeah so we have lower part page and we have this yeah okay so actually this can be now um hmm. how do i do it okay let's make it the 72 number the 72 text whatever now let's make lower part page and if we put a column here with the 72 text how it will behave okay that's good now if we put text here i cannot see it okay so it's here it was hidden it was hidden okay so the thing is um we used transform translate to move the um the 72 text and now because of it um the the text we used is not actually um it's not actually below the 72 um it's like on top of it and um it's because translate like doesn't like transforms does don't really change the um structure of the widgets they just like move them and like ignore the structure yeah so um, the 72 text um like if we consider layout it is in here but then after it's like placed it just moved but the other widgets don't know about it so what we need to change is we need to re here we need to make it zero see so now we have 72 and below it we have um the text and we need to add padding actually since we are using colon we can just have size box height one to eight and this should work as well yeah and now we have text under the 72 
So that's good. That's very good. Um, so let's add some space in between them as well. Add some comma. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's um, have the travel description label. And travel description label will be a text, and the text is travel description. Let's make it um, style. Let's make it, um, I know, 16, 17, 18. Font size 18. All right. Let's put it instead of this text. Watch it load. All right. Uh, yeah, I believe it's good, although. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, so we need in this column to have alignment to the right. So cross axis alignment start. Now we need to add padding. Only left, uh, I believe 24 will work. Okay, so now this is the problem because this it should be aligned with 72 number, but we can't really align 72 number. Uh, although we could specify its size. Yeah, so instead of um, using the just the font size of textile, let's for now comment it, it. It should be small. Oh, and now let's remove this. Yeah, it is here. And let's wrap it in the um, in the size box with height 200 with 200 and then let's wrap the text in the fitted box with fit box fit um cover yeah so what we just did we um instead of specifying the font size we specified the dimensions of the box itself so it is 200 by 200 and what we can do right now is we can make it uh, let's say 400 by 400 and it is definitely too big but the thing is right now actually um wait it is before turn so if we remove with how does it work okay so if we remove height how does it work and we want to specify the width so now because it's rotated it's a bit tricky but i think we need to specify the width and since we have it like this, if container works as well, we can make alignment, alignment, bottom center. Okay, if we specify alignment, then the fitted box doesn't really make it. But I want to specify alignment. Huh. Huh. So we have fitted box. Does it have any other parameters? Okay, fitted box has alignment. So what if we put alignment here? Alignment bottom center. It moved up, top center. It moved down. Okay. Uh, so we still have the problem that we have this baseline. However, now if we put minus 32, um, it should remain the same. No, it's still. We still have the baseline problem. Huh. Although I believe this way it will be the same on every device size, I hope. So. Uh, yeah, it should be because the 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 size of the text will be uh, like um, it will be defined by the pixel values we set. So in this scenario, 
we will be able to uh, to align it properly. Now the only problem is, should it be more to the left? I believe it should. So let's make it 40. Now let's make this 40. And no, it's not how it works. <laughs> uh, 32, 24, perfect. Close enough. Okay, now let's just um, fix it. Do we still need this? I don't believe so. No, we don't. Um, we have container with, with 400. Um, we have text, 70, bold. Uh, we can make it size box, so we know exactly that it's only meant for the uh, defining size. Yeah, all right. It works for me. Awesome. Um, so now coming back to the um, to the travel description, we have the size, we have the padding left. Now what? Well, now we need to add the animation to it. Okay, so I believe it goes in similar pace as the 72 text. Also, it fades away, but it's not a problem. So actually, what we can do is we can wrap this in new widget, and we can just copy this. Yeah. Now instead of tr uh, we need, we can remove the base 40 we use. Now it goes. Huh. Why doesn't it work? We have child. Maybe minus would be helpful. Yeah, and we can make it a bit slower just to make it nicer. I'm not sure if it should be slower or not. Okay, I think it doesn't matter um, because it also fades away and you just cannot notice. So what we can do is we can also wrap child with opacity and right now we can say that um, so we start with page equal to zero and then it goes to one so if we do opacity um, notifier one minus notifier that page it will go from one to zero so it will go like this it will disappear but it will disappear too slow uh, okay let's make it like this and Right, let's make it disappear faster. How can we make it disappear faster? It needs to start with one. We can make it two times, but then we will make the opacity. Yeah, the opacity is um, too small. I mean, it's smaller than zero. The thing is, I'm not sure how did he accomplish it? That you can see this opacity like going um, so. S huh, so maybe actually we shouldn't translate it. Okay, let's make it zero. Yeah, so we don't translate it, we just change the opacity. So replace with children, and now how can we make this um, not go below zero? We can import math package. And here we can say math dot max zero and what we calculated. So now it just cannot go below zero. Great. Yeah, I think this works just fine. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now let's make um like travel like uh, I think it's low part describe description, something like this. So we just copy this because we still we will also need to change the opacity. Um, let's make it level part description. Um, opacity remains as it is, and now the text will be for sure smaller. And I believe I can get the text from somewhere. So that's it. Um, now it will get uh, the text will not be white; it will be gray. So we can specify color. Uh, gray, 
let's create from the styles file all right and now let's put some spacing and a low part description bam we got it um now the low part should have symmetric padding so it won't get to the right too much so let's make it horizontal and let's make the font size 14 and 14 is default so we can remove it huh i really hoped it will go um here to the right because on the design you can see welcome flash like it fits the screen but it doesn't here we can make it 13 okay all right so um, obviously on the other um, screen sizes it won't look like this but well we cannot make it uh, perfect in this case so yeah we'll leave it right now like it is yeah I think it looks nice let's see here great yeah I think it looks very nice okay so what else we need to do we need to add the page indicator and we need to add the um, share button let's start with the share button because it's simple um, slash share button and it will be positioned right let's say 24 and bottom let's say 16 child um, icon icons that share great and let's add share button to the to the main stack share button bam reload we have share button um yeah i'm curious if this has the same um, the same padding from the right and we cannot see it like this uh, okay up bar horizontal 24 yeah so it's the same okay good and now we need to add page indicator um, okay let's remove this for now so as you can see right now um, the page view actually doesn't do much no actually no it, it does do much because all those texts are in the page so never mind um okay page indicator yeah page indicator so page indicator will be and there are like two dots one is gray one is white depending on the page simple row children uh Hmm, is it something like circle? Circle border? Oh, we can just have container with shape, uh, with decoration, box decoration, shape, box shape, circle. All right. And color. Color, let's say gray right now. And um, with 16. Then we will have size box between the containers um, with width 16. And then we'll have the same container, but let's make it, okay, let's make this white. Mm -hmm. Page indicator row, mm -hmm. main axis alignment, main axis alignment center. Let's add page indicator to the stack. Oh, actually, we also would prefer to align it alignment uh, wait no align alignment alignment bottom center so yeah it didn't change because we didn't add it to the stack I believe no we did so where is it hmm oh here it's in the middle um yeah you can see it here uh, why is it in the middle and not on the bottom because it's enormous <laughs> uh, why is it so big then alignment bottom center oh because of the height what if you change width to height bingo uh well 
not bingo, but closer. So we need to put width and height. Yeah, got it. Um, I think it's much too big. Yeah. Uh, let's make it four. Let's make it eight. Okay. And here, let's make it eight. Yeah. Uh, how we can do it? Uh, we can just. Yeah, so we could like extract, and every um, circle would be dependent on the um, um, on the page identifier, page offset identifier. Yeah. Um, however, I believe that like drawing two containers is not a big deal, so we can scrap everything in consumer of page offset notifier and the builder, and actually the whole thing will be a builder. So we have context. Um, context notifier um, child, which we will not use. So actually, since we will not use it, we'll make it like this. And now we just need to set that notifier that page that round. So we just need to specify if it's more um, it's closer to zero or, or to one. So if it's equal to zero then this color is white, else it's grey. And here we just need to specify the opposite. Yeah. Alright, and I believe it should be higher. Yeah, let's make it higher um, by just adding the padding from the bottom, let's make it 60, or even 24. Awesome. Now we'll just, I wanna make sure that description fades away, not good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, isn't the spacing too big between the Title and uh, description? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay, so we have the first page, I believe. It's the whole first page. Oh, no, we need an uh, um, arrow here. Yeah, this arrow. So we have this, it goes there. And yeah, we need this arrow. And I believe those dots are still a big a bit too big. Let's make it six. Yeah, that's better. Um, okay, so let's add this arrow. And this arrow will be a problem. <laughs> Why it will be a problem? It will be a problem because um, we specified this. Um, so because this is the travel description is in column, and we want the arrow to be on the same level. But we cannot put this in the same column because um, the arrow needs to stay exactly where it is. And so, but since we used um, the fitted box to do the 72 part, I believe we can actually calculate the arrow position from the top. Yes, let's try it. So, uh, let's put it here. Um, arrow icon and arrow icon is positioned from top it will be height of this oh we don't know height of this or do we well we kind of do because we have the padding here the icon size and the padding here now we need to check what is the default icon size It defaults to 24. All right. So if we find our arrow icon, so it's 16 plus 24 plus 16 plus um, the 72 text, which is 400. There was width 400, but we rotated, so it's actually height for us. Um, 
Huh. Okay, plus 32. Okay. If you like this, yeah. Now from the right side it's 24. And child is icon icons that drop down. No. Arrow down, something like this. Key okay, I put down. No. Bam. Okay, it didn't appear because we didn't put it in the stack. Let's add it in the stack. And bam. And we did it wrong. Why we did it wrong? We did it wrong because the 72 text probably has some... Yeah, here's 1 to 8 we didn't mention. 1 to 8 plus. Yeah. And bam, now it's still wrong. <laughs> oh, why is it wrong? Okay, actually... Hmm. How can we find the right position? Actually, we, if we wrap this in padding only, top 16, we will... Whoa. Okay, we need to wrap it. Um, okay, I know what we can do. We can make it slowly. Let's start with this. Okay, it works. Plus 1 to 8. Okay, so the uh, 1 to 8 height is actually not... It's not what we expected to be. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so if we put 64... Oh, because this is not the part of the column. Um, the, the image is not a part of the, this column, so we shouldn't... So we can just make 1 to 8 and it will work. So it's 1... You see, because um, I added this and I added 1 to 8, but uh, 1 to 8 is this whole part. So if we do this... Yeah, it works. Plus 400. It should go down here. Plus 32. Bingo. It works. Awesome. Uh, we can make it a bit bigger. 28. Let's check it. Yeah, let's make it 28. Let's specify color mm, light gray. Oh, the light gray isn't actually really visible. Because this is okay. Because the okay, so the icon shouldn't be in light gray. It should be in somewhere in between. Or maybe just we can make light gray a bit lighter. Let's make it a bit lighter. And since it's the constant, we hot reload won't work. We need to hot restart it. Yeah, it works. Uh, now the only problem is that it's not. Um, well um, aligned with the text, so let's just do minus 8, minus 16, well, minus 8, minus 4, okay, and it was actually keyboard arrow up. Okay, I think it should, still should be lighter, so let's just add one more color. Lighter gray. Let's make it nine, nine, or even maybe a, 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 and lighter gray. Main page lighter gray. Hot reload. All right. Great. I think it works. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so it works for this part. Um, yeah, let's go with it and start another part. Why not? <laughs> uh, so we need to put the content in here. Right? Right. Now the content in here will be a bit trickier because then it some of it goes up, some of it goes down. So I believe the first thing 
um, the most important thing is to put everything in the stack instead of the page view because um, if we put it in the page view then it will be hard for us to um, like have full control of the um, icons mm. yeah so let's put it in the page view now we have um, uh, let's put it in the stack instead of the page view so we have travel details um, label and okay so this was travel description and this is travel details okay let's add it since we did not let's create a new file and call it um, and call it leopard page and let's put all the widgets from the leopard page down there so we need leopard page we need to import material and now page indicator is common description label consumer page offset notifier import map all right Leopard description, the 72 text can also go there. Okay, let's import styles. Okay, now we just need to import Leopard page. So it's a bit, um, well, we have a bit less code in here. Actually, we can also put Leopard image there. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, now let's add the. Um, it was travel details, travel detail text, and it's uh, similar to travel description label. So let's copy it. It's travel details label. Let's import math as we lost it. As math. Okay. And, um, and we need to find it. Yeah, so it's travel details. This should remain the same, I believe. Now, how it appears? That's the real question. So I believe it starts to appear in the, um, I believe it's like three thirds of the animation. So, uh, oh, and we need, huh. so we need to wrap it in position because later on it will change its, um, its position. So let's wrap it in position and, um, and we know the top part, um, cause we used it for the icon and it's like this. We know that the left part is 24, so we can remove the padding. Okay, and now here it starts with zero, so it's like notifier that page. It starts with zero. It is zero. Um, okay, it is zero until three fourths. So what we can do is four times notifier page, so it goes from zero to um to four minus three it means it goes from minus three to one and since we are using math that max uh, with zero it will go from zero um to zero for the three uh, three quarters and then it will go up to the one hopefully so let add, let's add it in the stack bam and and it doesn't move. Uh, okay, um, so the position of it. Where is it? Wait, where, what was it? Oh, it's container. Okay. Uh, travel details label. Yeah. Actually, let's move it down so it will be easier to find it later on. Um, left is actually 24 plus. Uh, wait. Minus notifier that offset. Is it true? No, it's not true at all. It's twenty four 
plus media query of context that size that's width. Yeah. Okay, although I believe this is too late for it to appear. Actually, let's just check it. No, it is like like that, yeah. Yeah, it is like that, yeah. Um, okay, so we have trouble details. That was surprisingly easy. Um, now what is next? Actually, okay, a lot of stuff is happening there. Um, let's look at in the game so we don't have to wait for the animation to, to start and finish and start again, yeah. I don't know how to remove the blue lines, whatever. Um, okay, so we have start camp, base camp, circles, and some texts. All right, and the question is what happens with those? So those two will go up, this remains in the place and then disappears. The left part stays in the place and then disappears. Okay, and the icons tend to like spread and then come back again. Okay, huh. So I believe everything should be as a separate as a separate widget. I think it will be the easiest to do it like this. So let's start with all those texts, and this the, the circles will live um, for the end. So, start camp label. Start camp label. It is start camp. Let's make the size for uh, for fourteen. Now the position. Let's just add forty. Maybe add eight and then add thirty-two. Okay, let's just see. Okay, let's add it to the stack. Okay, it can be lower. All right, because there will be one more. Okay, no, so let's make it like 16. Bam, and then we'll have another text here. Okay, and this needs to be in the one third of the width of the screen. Huh. So, okay, got it. So, what we can do is we can specify width, and width will be media query that of context size width um, divided by three. Then um, we can say that text should be centered. All right, and yeah, and that's it. <laughs> so now uh, we have it. It covers one third of the screen. Um, now we should remove this, or shouldn't? Okay, so this is actually minus the paddings. It should be minus paddings. So minus two times twenty-four. Okay, minus forty-eight. And here we should still have 24. Yeah, so it's one third and there will be second, third, and third, third. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the start comp. Yeah, we just have it. Uh, we can make it font weight, font weight that um, I don't remember the values. I mean, I just want it to be a bit smaller than normal, so 300 is the right. So 400 is default, it won't change anything, and 300 will make it a bit smaller. Okay, I like it. Now, uh, okay, we can make the entrance animation as well. So the problem is that this goes from the left, not from the right, because why not? Um, yeah, so actually what happens here is is if the uh, 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 
So we want it left, we want it just to be like this. And we will, what we can do is, so this specifies from zero to one, right? And if we multiply it by 24, uh, it will break because int is not a subtype of double. Yeah, it works. Let's check it again. Yeah, that's it. So um, this thing is important. Um, let's make it. I don't know is it opacity? It's not really opac. Well, it is opacity, but opacity, but it's okay. Let's just call it opacity. I don't know. If you have a better name, leave it in the comment. Uh, so it's opacity times 24. And here it is just opacity. All right. So we have start count and below it we have some time. So we just need to copy it, say start time label. Um, it is lower, so let's just add another 32. Let's add it to the stack. Um, mm, instead of 32, let's make it 40. Okay. Instead of start come, it's 02. Point, uh, it's this. <laughs> and let's change the font, uh, let's change the color to light gray. Lighter gray. Yeah, I believe that lighter gray is much better here. And, well, oh god. So if you look at the design, you can see that those are um, aligned to, to to right and here to left, and this is to center. <laughs> and I didn't predict it. Mm. So uh, if we make it align, Alignment, alignment, that center right. Yeah, it works. We can put it here and in the start count label. So it's align. Yeah, yeah, it works. And we have the same animation, right? Did we have the same animation? Please tell me that we have the same animation here. We do. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we can add the end time, uh, the start camp. Wait, it's start camp? Was it? Base camp. Yeah, we can add base camp label and base camp. Base camp label and base time label. Okay, so it's base camp label and it. Now, the difference is we actually specify the margin from right, or margin. I never, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's always fine. I, I believe it's margin, right? Hopefully, whatever. Um, from the right. Wait, and that's it. And center left, and let's say base camp. And here we set base time label. Um, it's 7.30 a.m. That's from the design, don't judge me. It's center left. Pam, pam, pam. Let's add the comma here. No, this is right. With na 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 na. Comma here. Base can play ball. Let's add it to the stack. And base camp time. Wait, base time label. Reload. We have it here. And it goes right. Great. Awesome, it works. <laughs> okay, and now in the middle we need to put the we need to put the um, circles and the um, like the kilometer label. So let's start with the kilometer label, as it's easier. So it will be on the same. Oh, actually, we need to check out the animation. 
how it works. Okay, it just pops up in the place. So, um, distance label will be 42, no, 72 kilometers. Let's make it 16. Let's make it um, a bit um, heavier. I know if heavier is the word, but whatever. And now can we just specify no right? No. Okay, well, we need to add it. Well, I would really, I would prefer to have it on the center. But it's not on the center. <laughs> it definitely is not on the center. I would so prefer to have it on the center. Oh well, I cannot have it. Okay, um, I need. I still need to uh, specify the let's say left because it needs to go with the page offset. So, actually, let's make this no. So the uh, the end position. Wait a second. Okay, so we can just say that the position is the media query divided by three. No, it's twenty four. It's the left padding plus the size of the first element. That's the position of the second element. And the alignment is center. Oh, we didn't do this. Huh. Okay, it doesn't work. And if the width is like this, maybe it will work. Bam, yes, we have it in the middle. Okay. So only this was a problem. Actually, if we have it alignment center, we can just make it center. And we want to make it white. And we want to make it bolder. And we want to make it bigger. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, we will ignore the uh, dot here because we don't put a dot here. And does it? Yeah, it just pops out in the right place. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so now is the hard part, which is the dots. Um, the problem with dots is that later on they will need to shrink again. Honestly, I have like, okay, okay, we will ignore the shrinking for now. Let's just make those dots work. So, um, okay, so uh, slash dots, I know, travel dots. Travel dots will be row with children and it will have container um, container let's just copy from the indicator with it. Okay, so I believe that oh, I believe that the I believe that those dots need to be bigger and the dots in the middle should be smaller. So let's add sized box with four. Then we add the same container. Then we add another size box with four. Same container. Size box and the bigger con and the bigger container. Alright. Main axis alignment, main axis alignment center, and let's wrap it in the consumer of page offset notifier with builder context notifier child. And as with the previous, um, with the page indicator, um, the better solution performance wise would be to wrap every um, dot separately and so that we can provide container yeah container as um, child oh actually the row won't work at all 
because those dots start with the same place. We can create a stack. Now we have all those. Um, by the way, okay, we are missing here. Let's make it uh, bigger. We are here. Uh, wait, no, we just remove it. Okay, first let's just put those travel dots and place it correctly. So uh, let's add it to the main stack. Okay, we have it here. Mm, now let's position it from the top. It is the same as the, the start camp label or the base camp label. So it's this. All right, actually a bit lower, yeah. And we need to position it in the center and to do it, and to do it, we'll just, cause the thing is I want it to be positioned in the center but I don't want it to like take the whole, uh, the whole wave. If I just center it, will it work? It will not. If I put with double that infinity, okay, left zero, right zero. Okay, we have it here. Now, what we can do is we can actually just um, specify the margin of the of every dot. So, if we put, for example, edge insets only right eight. It should go to the left, right? Yeah. And um, just to be clear, we need to specify twice the amount of yeah of what we um, like want to achieve because it will be centered. So if we add padding um, right eight, it will go four to the right, four to the left. So we need to like, specify it doubled. And now we can also copy the opacity because it will be needed for sure in the builder opacity actually I don't think we will well I believe the actual opacity will be um... wait yeah I mean we can we can just make it opacity like this and what the thing is what we want to do is here uh, we have this margin and the white dot is on the right or on the left? I believe it's on the right. Yeah, so we needed um, to have margin left, let's say 36. Now, why everything? Okay, yeah, uh, alignment alignment that center okay and instead of 36 we can even make it 40 40 yeah all right so this is one. Oh yeah so what we can do now is we can make opacity times 40 this way it will you see it will go it will just like expand so we can have the same thing here but right and here we want specific color will be black Wait, is it black black or is it i believe it's black blue. okay doesn't matter no it doesn't matter but we need border um will this work this box border i'm i always forget how to do it seriously like always because box border is um, abstract uh, every time Border, oh, just border, border that all. Okay, color white. Okay, yeah, we have the border here, so it worked. It's just it's clarified. Yeah, we don't see it, we see it. And the smaller dots, let's make them really small. 
all right and they will be i think they're, they're gray just believe me they're gray uh, let's make it light gray and let's make margin 20 and right 20. okay definitely too much perfect and now yeah you can see it expands awesome yeah it looks awesome okay uh, so to finish this um we have i think two more things um one is okay we need to add the button here but it will be five minutes and we also need to add the um, circle animation here because we didn't do it yet and then we will finish the second page great so um map button map button will be a flat button with child text um oh it's more button actually it's on map what, what okay in the design i can see more but it's on map okay on map was it capital yeah on map and on press for now we will do nothing and we will wrap it in the consumer of page offset notifier we will provide builder context and um, notifier child and we will return positioned uh, bottom it will be uh, what did we use for the share all right um, yeah so bottom 16 left 24 child child um, add it to the stack okay it's definitely too big um, and actually we um, since the button itself like has um, like you can see it's bigger than just the text um, we can lower the left margin let's say eight yeah so it's better and we also can lower the bottom margin oh we can actually remove it and we can say that style um, text style font size 14 12 yeah that's good and i believe it was gray or was it white uh, let's say it is white You know what when I just look at it now I'm not sure if um, oh wait we need to uh, add animation to this button okay it just shows just right and um, we just need to change opacity yes yeah so actually we can wrap the child in the position because it doesn't get affected by the page offset notifier right Mm, and here we just need to do opacity, Ananana, opacity, whoa, uh, okay, uh, so position must be like the, um, the first child in the stack, because if we are with in opacity, then position will just, um, like it will not find the, the stack above it. It just needs to be the first uh, the first level child. So we can actually wrap the whole consumer in the position. It will be just the same. Bam. Okay. And now the last part is the um, vulture circle. The vulture circle will be just a container with decoration, box decoration with shape box shape circle color um, gray 
um, and mm, we will wrap it. Um, now let's see how it looks. Okay, so it doesn't have any opacity changing, it only has the size changing. So um, we will wrap it in the consumer of um, page offset notifier um, and we'll change child to builder context notifier child. Mm. Now, instead of having capacity, we'll just have like a multiplier and this, wait, actually, let's just check. Yeah, it, it shows so well with all the other elements, or at least it's very close to it. Um, actually, you can, okay, let's just make it for now with, um, we can say it's half of the, uh, Half of the screen, yeah. Width will be media query of context that size that width um, divide times 0.5 times multiplier. All right, and the same for height. Actually, we can make it. Like this. Mul multi Player. Vulture circle should be. Actually, it will be the only thing in the uh, Vulture page. Yeah. So let's make it center, child, Vulture circle. Bam! Awesome. Too bad it doesn't really um, fit. Now, uh, let's see in the design. It goes from up here. And how did we position the Vulture image? Um, the vulture image is positioned. Okay, it has padding bottom 90. So let's just add margin edge in sets only bottom 90, 180. Whoa, 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 180. Oh, 250, 250. Yeah, I think it's fine. It should be a bit bigger. No, I think it's fine. All right, so uh, I guess we finished the page view part. Um, we have the first page with the low part, with the text, with the some descriptions. We can slowly move it to the right page with the vulture, with the circle, with all those animations in here. Okay. Um, let's make it slower a bit. Smaller, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's it works just fine. Now the thing is, if we do it fast, we cannot see like the smooth, this like the smooth part of it. But if we um, like, let the framework scroll for us, finish scroll for us. You can see it looks very nice. Uh, okay, let me just confirm that this is what the design actually looks like, but I believe it is, right? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's it for this part. Uh, I will drink some coffee and maybe I will do the rest because to be honest I don't think the, the second part which might be which might look very hard but I don't think it will be that hard so um, I know I will see
if we will finish it right now or if we do it in the separate video. Um, if we do, I'll probably remove what I'm saying now, but whatever. Um, okay, so um, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you'd like to see a, mm, a blog post about it, if you prefer it in the written way or in the video way. And yeah, let's finish it soon. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.